Okay, so the other day I had somebody comment on one of my videos that they wanted to know how exactly I put together my Power Drill Massacre uh, coveralls. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly I did that and kind of tell you the different techniques and stuff I used. Okay, so as you can see here, here are the coveralls themselves. So we're going to take a good look at them. Okay, so I wanted them to look old and weathered as I do with all my coveralls. So with this one over here, what I did to get these, uh, this ragged look over here, like with all the tears and stuff at the end, I just took a, which you gotta be really careful with this, but I took an X-Acto knife and just kind of pulled away at them and I got this effect. And I did the same with the bottom of the pants as well as areas like that with some scratches and holes then for stuff like this where you can see there's some dark darkness to them like right there and some of these scratches and up here for like dirt and stuff what i did to achieve this effect was all i did was i took some uh took some black paint kind of watered it down a lot then i took some of it on a brush and dry brushed it which is where you put very little paint on your paintbrush just kind of you know draw brush it on there don't use any water after and it'll give you kind of this subtle dirty effect then for the blood stains and stuff all i did was take some uh fake blood and some red paint and just kind of mix the two I'm just kind of drizzled it on there like right there there's some splatter uh the same right there so it's, it's obviously darker in some areas uh then it's lighter in some areas. So, you know, you just kind of want to play around with what you want. And uh, probably tomorrow I'm going to take a video and tell you guys how you can change up uh, or how I put together my Rob Zombie coveralls, how I painted those up and weathered all that. Uh, so stay tuned for that.